I'm Kaylee McEnany, and this is a special edition of the Ingram Angle from New York City tonight. Judges divided. A Florida judge handing Trump a win, pausing litigation in his classified documents case. But on the other hand, a New York judge ruling moments ago not to halt his civil fraud trial. We have all the details tonight with GW professor Jonathan Turley. He'll be here to weigh in. But first... For years, the liberal media made a cottage industry of vilifying conservatives. Remember how, according to them, President Trump and his supporters, they were somehow responsible for racism. That's the extremist thinking that Donald Trump represents and the hate mongering that unfortunately is poisoning the Republican but, but Party. He is a representative of their intolerance, dare I say it, racism. He's a representative of their misogyny. He's a representative of the intolerance. President Trump knows what he's doing when he's stoking uh, racism. Trump and Trumpism and all that it represents, that nexus of racism and sexism and greed. It's always the same playbook, no matter who it is. It's racism. But now that Trump's out of office, guess what? He and half of America, still the problem. Donald Trump and the MAGA Republicans represent an extremism that threatens the very foundations of our republic. MAGA Republicans are determined to spread anger, hate, and division. This MAGA threat is a threat to the brick and mortar of our democratic institutions. Hmm. The blood red background, that was fitting. The unifier in chief, as he calls himself, ratcheting up the hateful rhetoric, taking us down a dangerous new road. In the media, they took his cue. We call it here, triple trickle down Hatred. That's what it is. Commander in chief gives the instructions to the media, and now here we are. No longer content with the usual smears of racism and bigotry, now Trump and his supporters, many of you watching, are an existential threat to America's very survival. He's the villain. He's easy. What's difficult is that so many of our fellow Americans buy into this. It is abundantly clear that the Republican Party is now unafraid to stand with those who would turn to violence. To if you don't stop it now, it will only get worse and only jail will get to him directly. Hmm. The message is clear. Trump belongs in prison. And if you support him in the America First agenda, they may target you, too. This is why we've seen the DOJ, remember that letter, targeting parents as domestic terrorists, all because they don't want porn in their kindergarten classrooms. And peaceful protesters outraged over the left's radical abortion demands. They targeted pro-lifers. They went to Mark Houck's house with guns, the FBI. But thankfully, he was acquitted by a jury. We still have juries in this country. And it's why, as Newsweek reported this week, the FBI is targeting Trump supporters. Now, the FBI disputes that, but one senior intelligence official stated Trump's army constitutes the greatest threat of violence domestically. The left is not hiding their authoritarian impulses anymore, and there's no better example of that than the oh-so-likable Hillary Clinton. Not content with just labeling half the country as deplorables, she now is proposing something you would expect to hear from Kim Jong-un. Many of those extremists, those mega extremists, um, take their marching orders from Donald Trump. At some point, you know, maybe there needs to be a formal deprogramming of the cult members, but something needs to happen. A formal deprogramming. You heard that correctly. That's what she said. From first lady to secretary of state to presidential candidate, to the founder of America's first re-education camp. That's what she's asking for. She said it. There's no misconstruing that. Hopefully, she and the left will fail in that endeavor as much as the previous ones for the sake of the entire country. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.